Hello, hello. It is Tuesday, the 9th of April 2013. You're watching Vapor Scene, and this is uh, Vapor Charles TV. Roller titles. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health E Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Yes, good evening. It is Tuesday. It is Vapor Scene, and we have got, or I have got, absolutely loads to get through in this half hour. Uh, and I'm going to start this week with some kind of news, breaking news that's been happening during the day, uh, and it's about this. Liberty Flights had a robbery on uh, Sunday, and uh, the thieves broke in and stole upwards of 20 boxes of kit from uh, Liberty Flights. Um, from the warehouse, even though the police were there quite quickly, they made off very quickly indeed. Um, have a Google on that and um, see the entire piece. Um, so if you are offered any uh, cheap Liberty Flights kit, it could well be part of that stolen stuff. So uh, if people are offering you it that you don't know, down the pub or what have you, uh, or it's uh, ridiculously cheap, it could well be stolen. So uh, just beware that that is out there. And our thoughts go out to Abe and all at Liberty Flights. Uh, we're going to have to recover now um, from that loss. Yes, it'll be insured, but still, uh, there's all the other stuff. Loss of, uh, loss of earnings and things that are going to go on. Um, so uh, just be wary that there is some kit, or there may well be some kit flying around the areas um, that is going to be nicked. Uh, secondly, Sunday after... Uh, Dave's Tackle Box at 10 p.m. Eka are having their AGM. Um, you see there that's the uh, the address www.ekauk.org. Um, if you nip across there, you can find out how you can take part in that, and I'll remind you uh, afterwards as well. So, what we're going to talk about today? Well, Saturday's show with Andy Sutton started a new campaign. Uh, and it uh, was Twitter bomb, and we twittered, tweeted uh, <laughs> Linda McCavin um, on the show live, and since then we reckon there's been upwards of fifteen thousand tweets going around, and a lot of people are tweeting using this hashtag, hashtag EU eSig ban. So if you uh, tweet along and use that hashtag, it will all go and we can see who is tweeting what. Uh, and uh, there you go. It's all good stuff. If you didn't see the show, here is a little reminder of what happened. Could the people behind the scenes, the lovely Sav or Daz, I can't remember who's posting it, but I think it's uh, a Sav, is going to post it into chat. If they could post it into chat now. There's chat. Hello. Right. Right. Don't tweet yet, though. We're going to wait for the graphic. Okay. 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 Look, chat's gone all quiet. Let's just make sure. Let's just make sure you're, you're all act going to. Let's, let's do this by the book, people. Let's go to, let's go to chat roll. Let me copy and paste that. So I'm using exactly the same text. That's copy and pasted. I mean, that's copied. Copy. Um, right. Let's go to Twitter now. There's Twitter. Okay, let's compose a new tweet, but don't send it. It's already in the little wind. Now, you will notice that that tweet exactly fits the maximum characters. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to say to you now, people, are you all ready? Are you all ready? Uh, this is uh, Linda McCavern, who's, um, she, she thinks we're all quitters and they should be medicinalized. So 
we don't agree with that. So basically, you know, that's why we've said what we've said in the tweet. Right. So let me just go back to chat. Chat roll. There it is. Okay. And it's I'm using the wrong mouse again. Ready. Everybody's ready. People will be posting it now. Okay, good. All right. Well, let's go then. Let's Twitter bomb. And if you're a little bit late, just do it in a few minutes. She'll get it. She'll get the message. Right. Okay. Here's the graphic. Twitter bomb. Hey, okay. Right. Now let's go to Twitter. And uh let's see. <laughs> I've got to tweet mine. Let me tweet mine now. Boom! Mine's gone. Bombs are dropped. There we go. Well, nothing instantly has happened. <laughs> but um the behind the scenes team are are keeping their eye on it the last bit of chat in skype doesn't make any sense but that's fine um something about a foot right so let's go back to me and oh, let's let's just all relax shall we for a minute quite stressful twitter bomb retweet <laughs> I was supposed to play that sting before I did that VT um, because this is the new section. So I'm going to play it now. Uh, it's Twitter bomb retweet. Here's the sting. Twitter bomb retweet. <laughs> so what's going to happen is this: on a Saturday, Andy is going to target a person for a Twitter bomb, Twitter bomb, <laughs> basically. And then on Tuesday on Vaporstein, we'll do Twitter bomb retweet, we'll recap on what happened on the Saturday, and we'll do the next bit. Uh, and what we'd like you to do is go to our Facebook page. Uh, let me just pull up the graphic, if I find the right one. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. There we go. So. There's our Facebook page and also our Twitter page. If you uh, go to our Facebook page and suggest who you would like us to Twitter bomb on a Saturday, and then we'll Twitter bomb that person that gets picked, and then we'll recap on a Tuesday. Is that all making sense? I think it's all making sense. Um, and in the meantime, make sure that you are tweeting and retweeting those tweets. Uh, any tweets that you do in relation to eSigs, use this hashtag, hashtag eSig, EU eSig ban. I got it all right when I was going through it earlier. Uh, EU eSig ban. And then all those tweets will go onto that and it can be searched under that hashtag. We really need to start getting this trending. Uh, and we were unfortunate this week because uh, a famous person died. So uh, that was trending a lot more than we were. Um, but we will be trending if we can get the numbers up. And they don't have to be just negative tweets. Positive tweets are just as good. Uh, we don't want to be seen to be all negative. There are positives as well. So positive stories uh, as well as negative tweets to MPs and MEPs, etc., etc. I think that all makes sense. Yes. Right. There we go. So that's how it's going to work. Get onto our Facebook page. Say who you'd like us to uh, Twitter bomb on a Saturday. We'll recap here on Vapor Scene on a Tuesday with a Twitter bomb uh, retweet. It's difficult to say that when you do your R's like me and Jonathan Wass. <laughs> okay, let's move on and uh, let's go into this week's Show Us Yours. Have a look. And now it's time for Show Us Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK.
Show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Yes, that was this week's Show as Yours Gallery. Uh, and if you would like to win a bottle of juice, you know what to do. Send me an email, vaporscene at vaportrails.tv. Get it to me by Tuesday lunchtime and you will be included in that week's gallery. Uh, if it comes after 12 o'clock, it'll be the following week and you could go into the draw to win a bottle of juice, just like this week's winner, who is... Jason Kerwin, hope I've pronounced that right Jason, who sent me a couple of pictures there of some woodwork he's been doing uh, with all his juices and mods and stuff. So well done Jason, I will be sending you an email after the show and you will find out how to get your bottle of juice. And uh, just on this, if you do send an email, you should get an automated response back. If you don't, because a couple of people haven't had that, um, whack it onto my Facebook page, onto the uh, VTTV Facebook page, which are, there you go, Marco Van Basten UK and Vapor Charles TV. You can get me at Twitter, Marco Van B underscore UK, and of course, Twitter, Vapor Trails TV. So, there you go. Ooh, okay, looking at my uh, list, what's next? Oh yes, <laughs> looking at my time, am I in time? Yes, I am, okay, so here is a little juicy juicy from our very own Gary Dibley. Enjoy. Juicy 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 juicy. Hello, it's me, um, and uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a uh, something I don't do that often, and I try not to because I'm completely rubbish at them. Um, looking at a little bit of juice now obviously with things the way they are at the moment i decided i would like to have a go at mixing my own and um i've been a uh, since probably it's not two years yet but it is roughly two years ago i discovered uh, the vermilion river juices um at vape fest and i love them and I, i've used nothing else until uh it was mr kitson who actually did a uh, a little um a little section on the show about a new juice that he found and this is um decadent vapors uh dy4 now this is in uh, sort of concentrate uh format and i've mixed my own um and it's a tiny little bowl i need to get some bigger ones um but i have had a play and a mix and um made some up and the first batch i didn't steep long enough um, but I've obviously left this one to steep a little bit more and, and it's rather nice. Now I'm going to show you that in, in something that, that I've made and the colour on it is slightly reminiscent of my of my favourite juice um, which is you know the Vermilion River stuff um, and I'm, I'm, the mod that I made for this week's show the Twin 18 650 Vamo tin I'm going to use to, uh, to try and um, it is one sec. Damn good. Um, it is nice. It is. Um, this is one that I can put my finger on in terms of flavour um, and smell because everybody thinks when I'm using this that I'm baking biscuits. Um, it has got that that sort of biscuity, tobacco-y sort of undertone um, and it's very prominent in the smell as well. Um, everybody says digestives basically. Mm. 
notice the pinky up for vaping. Um, it, it, it's, it's sort of a, a um, it's, it's definitely got some sort of tobacco there, but it is very, very much a, a biscuity um, taste. And that is what I liked about the, the Vermilion River stuff. However, you know, mixing your own um, is damn good as far as I'm concerned. Um, I've finally found something that I like, um, that I've mixed, which, which is all new to me. Um, and, uh, you know, if, if you're into that sort of um, flavour, if you like the, the biscuity tobacco -y, unfortunately for Andy, there are no nuts in there. <laughs> what do you mean there are no nuts? Uh, however, you know you you could add some nuts if you wanted to. Um, probably get stuck in the uh, in the oven the car. But um, you know it it's nice. It's damn good stuff. Uh, highly recommended. And at the moment, that is probably the only thing that I'm I'm chunting on. Um, that and uh, sorry, Dave. Um, menthol. Um, I tend to vape my menthol during the day and and during the night. I come home to this and and it's nice really is good stuff can't recommend it highly enough um, finally found a, a replacement that, that cost I won't get a price but DY4 Dibbly likes see you all next time he's trying to find the button again he's just terrible at finding the button bye Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Gary Dibley. Uh, and uh, he does like DY4. Uh, what does he say? Damn good. Yeah, it's damn good. <laughs> right, we're going to have to go into the uh, ads now because I'm a couple of minutes late going into them. Um, so when I find them, not the credits, but the adverts, I will uh, see you in two minutes. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Now it's back to Vaporseam on VaporTrails TV. Vaporseam is proudly sponsored by Health e Vapor, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. Now, I've got uh, a little Marco's Vapor Trails coming up next, uh, and it was going to be shown last week, um, but I did the MT3 rebuild instead last week. Uh, so I'm mentioning this one 
that my MT3 is still going strong. And in fact, it died that evening, hence the MT3 rebuild. Um, just so you kind of know. I don't know. Um, but there you go. Um, and I have got uh, about ooh, two more to do uh, in this car. And then the car's getting changed. So it'll look a bit different. Um, but here is tonight's Vapor Trails. Yes, it's another juice from uh, my sponsor, Callum, at Healthy Vape. Uh, if you remember, he sent me three. He sent me the uh, caramel vanilla macchiato, the vanilla ice cream, and today it's menthol. And it's the same strength and PGVG mix as the other two. It's an 18 milligram, 70% uh, PG, 30% VG. So a little heavy on the PG for me. Um, I've got it in a clear miser, a brand new one as well. And I've been vaping on it all the way up, uh, and I've done half a clearer in two hours, which ain't bad, is it really? Um, but it's got a really nice, not too in your face menthol. You know, it's not like sucking on a Hall's menthol and eucalyptus lozenge. Oh, they're great, aren't they? I really like those, but as a vape, that would be a bit intense for me. Um, it's a really nice, minty menthol gets you in the back of the throat uh, and it lingers the taste really lingers in your mouth yeah it's quite a nice menthol vape and if you're new to menthol or if you um, don't like too strong a menthol this is uh, not a bad choice I have to say I made some menthol actually, <laughs> just going off slightly. I made some uh, chocolate menthol, and I've, I, I've already got a mix that I use, which is 24 milligram, and it's chocolate mint, and it's, you know, it's nice it's chocolate, and it's minty, and I thought I'd give it a bit more oomph. So I made up a new batch, a small amount, uh, and I overdid the menthol, and oh my God, it is just unbearable. <laughs> so it's gonna be heading to the sink me thinks but there you go you live and learn I gave it a bit too much um, but this is quite nice and I might actually try it with a bit of chocolate yes very nice indeed I have to say um, healthy vape menthol 18 milligram PGBG not bad at all I wouldn't use it all day uh, and that's because of the high PG and as you know because I tell you all the time um, I prefer a uh, heavier VG to PG ratio 90% um, plus is what I make when I mix my own uh, when I buy I either buy VG or if it's a flavor that I want to try and it's not available in VG then I will buy the PG version um, I just won't vape loads and loads of it Tasty. The other thing I was going to mention today is the Evic, because there is said Evic with the MT3 on, uh, and this has been going for well over a month. I can't remember when I actually first started to use it, but it's the same one, and it's still going strong. Still going strong. And that is at um, seven watts. Um, and this is my mint choc chip liquid that I make. Which is very pleasant. But that's not what I was going to talk about. What I was going to talk about was that the battery that comes with the Evic. And I've noticed that when it gets to about 44% on the EVIC, um, it doesn't work all that well. It was at 44% this morning, I pressed my little button, and it just shut shut down. Not enough power, but it didn't give me a low power reading um, on the EVIC, it just shut itself down. So, I slammed in a fully charged Panasonic, 
um, and it's lovely. And the Panasonic seemed to go down to like at least 10% on the little indicator on the Evic um, before you, you know you really can't vape on them. So whether or not this doesn't really hold the charge um, for the entire time, I don't know. So um, one for chat that. Are you using those ones that came with the Evic? Um, are you getting the same as me? Um, and this was charged in my Trustfire charger at the same time as this one was charged. So they've both got the same amount of charge. Um, and it just died this morning. I always carry a spare battery, which is uh, handy, I think. So, this is going to go in my pocket because I'm going to go and do some work. Uh, and I kind of mislaid my Lambo 4.0, but it's here. <laughs> it was in my car door. Um, that's going in my pocket as well because I'm not going to leave anything in the car. Um, and um, I might pick this up a bit later on the way home uh, and let you know how I'm getting on with the menthol. Uh, and in fact, I'll put it on the Evic on the way home. That's what I'll do. I'll, I'll fill up my Clearo, put it on the Evic, and um, see how we go. So, I will catch you a little bit later. <laughs> okay, so that was the edit I was going to do last time. Um, before I was going to add you all this stuff in about the Twitter bomb. So I had a shorter version of that, <laughs> which was going to be the right length, but there's still about another four minutes left of that. Um, so we'll get a little bit later next week. <laughs> oh dear, the joys. Um, yes, so I need to start wrapping things up because I've got two minutes. Um, and I noticed with that, the other battery, the Samsung battery, I turned down the voltage, the, the wattage, um, by one watt, and it worked a little bit longer. Um, but the other batteries seemed to hold the wattage or the voltage for longer as they were uh, dissipating. Um, so I don't know whether it's just that type of battery or whether I was just being a numpty. You never know. I could have been numptiness on the day. I don't know. I do blather on when I'm in the car, as you know. So let's look at what is coming up for the rest of the week because tomorrow night i'm just looking at my skype sh my skype chat um mr dawn has got jacques lahuzek of srnt uh, the french parliament he is uh, the rapporteur uh, in the eu for the srnt uh, and he's going to be uh, beaming across from france although he will be speaking in english so that's uh, one thing um, Saturday, of course, Andy's back, certain on Saturday, with the next Twitter bomb. Uh, and then I'll be here with uh, Twitter bomb retweet. Here's the sting. Twitter bomb. Retweet. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back with that uh, next Tuesday. Uh, don't forget that uh, Dave is here again on Thursday. And Dave K is in the house on Sunday with Dave's Tackle Box. And then after that is the Eka AGM, which you will find the details here. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, and that will be immediately after Dave's Tackle Box. Um, tonight, after this show, in two minutes or a minute and a half, uh, Tim will be on RY4 Radio. So go and join him there. Uh, the boys are back on Monday with uh, Tin Your Tip, and I am back next Tuesday after a quick visit to Scotland tomorrow. Um, I'll be back next Tuesday, so I will see you then. Don't forget, tweet, 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 tweet. Tatty bye. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid.
Iveather and Iveather Alexa, best in Yorkshire for your AC needs. That's iveather.co.uk and iveather-alexa.co.uk. Iveather and iveather-alexa.co.uk are proud sponsors of vapertrails.tv. And this is what happens when you press the wrong button, because I just put the adverts up again. <laughs> oh my god. Here's the credits. Scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evade, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. <laughs>